Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I'll explain you calculation of radiation resistance of half wave dipole antenna. So first of all, I'll explain you basic steps to be followed for a calculation of radiation resistance. Here we are dealing with to identify radiation resistance of half wave dipole antenna. So first of all, we will be identifying electric field of half wave dipole antenna. See with half wave dipole antenna in my last video, I have explained you calculation of electric field. If you place dipole antenna on Z axis, then electric field is E theta that is 60 I naught divided by R into cos of pi by 2 cos theta divided by sin theta in the direction of A theta. So electric field for half wave dipole antenna is E theta is equals to 60 I naught divided by R into cos of pi by 2 cos theta divided by sin theta in the direction of A theta. Once we have electric field, we can identify average power density. Let me explain you how. See in second step, we will be identifying average power density. Average power density can be calculated as per half of real component of E cross H. So once we have electric field, we can have magnetic field as well. And based on electric field and magnetic field, we can identify average power density as per half of real component of E cross H. Once we have average power density, we can identify radiated power. By surface integration of average power density, we can identify radiated power. So in third step, we will be calculating radiated power. So radiated power calculation, that is surface integration of average power density, right? So once we have surface integration of average power density, we will be having radiated power. And based on radiated power, we can identify radiation resistance. Let me explain you how. See radiated power that can also be calculated by P radiated is equals to half of I naught square into RR. By comparing these two equations, we can identify radiation resistance. That is how four steps are there. Now we will apply these steps to half wave dipole antenna for a calculation of radiation resistance. So here I have already told you first step in which electric field is E theta that is 60 I naught by R into cos of pi by 2 cos theta divided by sin theta in the direction of A theta. Based on this electric field, we will be identifying average power density, right? That is half of real component of E cross H. So here, first of all, we will be identifying average power density that is half of real component of E cross H. Now here, let me explain you how to apply basic steps. See, here we have electric field that is E theta, right? And that E theta that is there in A theta direction. And here we have magnetic field that is H phi. You see, I have explained you that even magnetic field is H phi, right? That is there in A phi direction. So here, magnetic field is H phi that is there in A phi direction, right? Now here E theta and H phi that you can take outside E theta into H phi that is magnitude. And here we have A theta cross A phi. So that is there in the direction of A r. A theta cross A phi that is A r. Now E theta and H phi that is having mutual relation. H phi is E theta divided by eta. Here H phi that is E theta divided by eta. Right. So here we will be having average power density that is E theta square divided by 2 eta in the direction of A r. Right. So we have average power density where E theta that equation is given over here, right? Now, in third step, we need to identify 
radiated power that is surface integration of average power density right so here we have average power density that is e theta square divided by 2 eta in the direction of ar and here this surface integration that is also there in the direction of ar so ar dot ar that is 1 right now here see we have e theta square right and divided by 2 eta that is constant so let us take it outside and see in surface integration we have e theta square ds now here you need to understand first see this surface integration that is varying with respect to theta and phi so let us apply limits over here see here this surface integration that is varying with respect to theta and phi where theta is changing from 0 to pi and phi is changing from 0 to 2 pi see for complete sphere theta is vertical angle that is angle with respect to z axis that is changing from 0 to pi and phi that is horizontal angle that is angle in xy plane with respect to x axis that is changing from 0 to 2 pi that is how complete surface that we are integrating over here right and here e theta square where e theta that i have explained you that is there as per this equation right so here let me place square of it so we have 60 square into i naught square divided by r square into cos square of pi by 2 cos theta divided by sin square theta that is e theta square right and this ds that is r square sin theta d theta d phi right now with this equation further simplification can be done you see this r square and this r square is getting cancelled this one sin theta and this sin theta that is getting cancelled and this 60 square i naught square that will come outside so here we will be having 60 square into i naught square divided by 2 eta and here phi will be changing from 0 to 2 pi and theta will be changing from 0 to pi and inside which we will be having cos square of pi by 2 cos theta divided by sin theta d theta d phi this much term is there with us right now here if you want to do further integration of this then you can consider cos theta is equals to t and based on that limit of t will change as per theta changes from 0 to pi and you just do that integration i have considered this solution from the ca balanis books so here i'll be directly writing this solution over here that solution is 36.56 i naught square that is radiated power right so once you have once you have this radiated power one can identify radiation resistance in step 4 i have told you radiated power is half of i naught square rr right so we already know radiated power is half of i naught square into radiation resistance so if you compare these two equations then 36.56 i naught square is equals to half of i naught square into rr so here this i naught square that is getting cancelled and this 2 is getting multiplied here so rr that is almost equal to 73 ohm right 2 into 36.56 right so always rr that is greater than 73 ohm but we are considering approximated value that is 73 ohm over here right so this is radiation resistance of half wave dipole antenna so this is radiation resistance of half wave dipole antenna that is of 73 ohm i hope you have understood this still if anything that you like to share then place it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video